Hello YouTube, welcome to quick review of Android 12 on Google Pixel 3, not the 3a, just 3. So this phone is not on sale right now, but if you are holding on to this one or like planning to get a used or refurbished device, so this video is for you. So right now I am rocking the Android 12 on this Google Pixel 3. So the main change is the material UI or the material U as they like to call. So right now, like this is a kind of dark wallpaper. So it's night, so it's kind of a dark OLED wallpaper. So let me change it for you. So let me change a, a light color one so that like you can enjoy the material you design. So right now let's have this a particular wallpaper. So as you can notice uh, the clock and all the uh, accent colors, it got changed with the wallpaper color and like you can uh, again tweak it according to your preferences so once you get into this paint so like there are uh, multiple colors over here and like you can change a uh, night and dark mode and like there are also uh, custom icons uh, based on the wallpaper or uh, like a custom theme kind of uh, thing so uh, let me apply but uh, like I'm not a big fan of that so but still like uh, just for the sake of uh, like how it looks so let's apply that and as you can see so this is the new icon so that doesn't translate to uh, I mean like the uh, third party applications or uh, inside the app drawer and let's check out the other wallpaper style so these are the accent colors over here and uh, let me put to dark mode so once i uh, once i'm in dark mode so as you can see this is the dark mode and all the uh, like ui elements so that is kind of dark and it's kind of a, a deeper uh, shade of dark than the previous generation android and this is the widget so i think uh, the widgets uh, they are more streamlined this year and they look good Another notable change is look how snappier the UI feels. So the app drawer, so as you can see, it's uh, pretty much snappier than the previous versions. So that's greatly due to the uh, CPU optimization. So uh, that's a good thing. And right now with the notifications, so all the notifications, it appear uh, a tad bit bigger and it's easier to, uh, easier to click. So all these notif uh, notification icons, so they appear much larger and uh, this is how you can uh, rearrange or like add or remove the notification widgets and so coming to the camera so again there is uh, not much of a change so again like the uh, font and uh, there is again like the material you theme coming here also so it is applied to the entire uh, operating system so not just the home screen so it's uh, it's throughout the operating system and as you can see right now like i'm uh, using the camera so again like uh, android uh, 12 they say like it is private by design so so like we had it on the ios like if you are using camera or microphone so it will get notified and we can stop and other privacy features like approximate location which is really helpful so again like apart from that uh, like we have an easter egg so every year like android versions so they have a uh, a dedicated uh, easter egg so if you click on the android version and then uh, multiple taps on the android version so it will take to uh, this particular screen and this year like we need to dial the clock up to 12 and once we leave that so tada! you have the easter egg over here so this is the android 12 so we don't have any uh, name for this so it's just 12 from uh, i mean like from the previous versions so just as that and apart from that so there are a few features which i would like to show you so that was present in uh, like other uh, versions of android so the customized version so right now like we are having it with the google uh, pixel also so that is continuous or like a scrolling screenshot so uh, this is uh, kind of useful like if you want to take the entire page screenshot or like if you want to take the uh, like entire chat of some person so that's kind of creepy but yeah so that's present with the pixel version also and like even though like if i use ios a lot so like i'm i'm a, a big user of uh, google services so especially the google photos so like i have uh, all my google photos up here so which is a great thing with uh, google pixel the previous devices you have unlimited uh, backup storage so which is a great thing that you are getting with with the pixel 
and there are uh, some of the animations so like if i put it into the wireless charger so as you can see there is a cool animation there and right now let's check the performance of the android 12 on this pixel 3 let me fire up the google chrome browser so as you can see it is uh, much more snappier so this uh, pixel 3 it has a snapdragon 845 chip so compared to the pixel 4a that's on sale right now in india so that rocks a 730g so the pixel 3 it still has a, a better cpu and also the adreno 630 gpu versus the adreno 608 so right now like uh, as you can see uh, the web browsing experience so uh, there is uh, no lag or anything so even uh, like if we try to play some uh, youtube videos so which we normally like to do so that's also fine and like as you can see the app switching or like the closing and opening of applications that's also uh, pretty much snappier so like this phone this particular phone that is google pixel 3 so it started with the android 9 the android pi so after 9 10 11 and right now it's in android version 12 so this might be the last uh, update that this phone is uh, probably gonna get or like they may even push it to the next uh, the android 13 but yeah like uh, going by the previous experience so I think this would be the last iteration of update uh, this phone is gonna get but still uh, the phone feels pretty much snappier so just uh, like let's uh, try to open some third party applications and there is uh, absolutely no lag or anything so like all i have all the applications so this is not a, a complete uh, performance test of this phone so for everyday day-to-day -day use so there shouldn't be much lag and it it's almost like uh, um, the android version that's on the phone is a vanilla android version so there is no uh, skin or something over this so there shouldn't be any uh, problem using the device whatsoever and uh, the only drawback that you might face with the pixel 3 is that it has got 4 gigs of ram so the pixel 4a that has 6 gb and the newer devices has 8 or 12 gb of ram so right now like let me fire up some uh, benchmarking tool so like i have a geek bench file so with that like i'm gonna run the cpu benchmark and for some reason like i'm not able to run the computer the gpu benchmark on this device so maybe it's not not yet optimized for android 12 so right now i have uh, started the cpu benchmark and here we have the results so as you can see it has got a decent score of single core 502 and multi-core score of 1749 and that is a pretty much decent uh, score for this device uh, given the age and uh, also the processor that's using and as you can notice uh, compared to the average pixel 3 uh, the 459 versus 502 there is a marginal increase so this might be because of the 20 percent uh, cpu utilization thing that android 12 has given and also like marginal increase we can see in the multi-core performance also so if you are rocking this google pixel 3 you still have a brilliant phone the camera is excellent and with the android 12 update so there is a breath of fresh air with the material u and all the advancements and also there is no drop in performance indeed there is a increase in performance so which is a great thing but the google 6 and 6 pro the, uh, there is a breath of fresh air the new cameras and the tensor shape should uh, do that so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace